and welcome back to another video. Today's video, I will be sharing my top fragrances for your special day, for your wedding. And this is such a special topic. Um, I have fragrances for everyone. And I've also gone through fragrances that are going to be more appropriate for spring and summer and then also autumn and winter. So this video has almost sort of two categories. And also I wanted to include a fragrance for every age. I want something for everyone. Finding a fragrance for your wedding day is such an exciting thing. I mean, can you imagine? This is going to be a perfume that's always going to take you back to that special moment. So we need to choose our fragrance wisely. I do suggest planning way ahead of time, making sure you have the right budget for the fragrance that you want, and also just spending the time to try something new because you never know what you might like. You may be a bride who wants to stick to a fragrance that you're used to, like a signature scent, or you might want to try something totally brand new that you've never tried before. I think if you go with a signature scent, it's going to be comforting, it's going to be a safe perfume, you know what to expect from the perfume. So that's also a wise choice. But if you want to try something totally new that every single time you smell this perfume, it's going to take you straight back to that special day, then I recommend going out there and trying out different fragrances. Try a few samples. Maybe try anything between two to five fragrances within a certain time. And do not try too many fragrances all at once because you'll become so overwhelmed. I know I do. So before I start this video, if you are new to my channel, welcome. On this channel, I talk about fragrances. I talk about fashion and femininity and of course tea, which today I do not have a cup of tea, which is really strange for one of my beginnings of my video. I'll save it for the next one. Anyway. <laughs> Let's get started with the very first perfume. So the very first perfume I have is my Elie Saab Le Parfum. This is a beautiful white floral perfume. When I smell this perfume, it just smells like a wedding day. And I do believe this perfume bottle was designed for the wedding dress. It is notes of beautiful orange blossom. There's rose, there's patchouli. It's really stunning. Lots of orange, it's citrusy, elegant feminine. I find this to be highly elegant. Although this fragrance I would recommend for someone who is perhaps 25 to 35 years old, as this perfume does smell a little bit more on the mature side. But it's so elegant. It's really remarkable. I just think of a princess wearing this dress or a queen because it really smells elegant and it smells slightly more mature and sophisticated. It's such a beautiful perfume and I would, I, well for me, I normally wear this as an occasional perfume. So if I have somewhere really fancy to go or I'm going to a wedding myself, I might want to wear this too. Because <laughs> it's just such an elegant, beautiful perfume. And it's white floral skies with your orange blossom. So definitely give this one a go. That's my Elisa La Parfum. The next fragrance I have for you is a Chanel perfume, and this is from their private collection. It's called their Exclusives. This is Gardenia, and guys, when I tell you how beautiful and elegant this fragrance is, it's so stunning. I remembered when I first tried it, and I fell in love with it because it did remind me, however, of a fragrance I used to have like flowing through my home. I used to have a Gardenia candle, and then I used to have lots of items scenting my home in the scent of gardenia so when i smelt this it had this very elegant cozy homely feel for me so when i tried the perfume it just took me right to that place it's so elegant it's crisp and really sophisticated gardenia is your modern fragrance this is a fragrance for every single age guys this is more your spring to summer perfume we have white florals in here with a green edge and it's not a sharp green because this is blended with coconut as well and some sweet fruity notes and it does have this watery green leafy feel. I don't want to say it's leafy and green like dew but it's a very pleasant green fragrance that I think if you're not used to a green take on a fragrance then you should love this. It's elegant, it's classy. Definitely a daytime wedding day scent. 
really stunning, really pretty. So that's my Gardenia by Chanel. The next fragrance I have on this list is going to be no surprise to you because I do talk about this fragrance quite a bit. And this is my Magnolia Rosa. Guys, oh my goodness, I adore this perfume. And I remembered when I first tried this fragrance, I fell in love with it immediately. This is your white florals with rose. This is beautiful rose and musk. It is really soft and beautiful. I do receive the magnolia in this perfume. It adds this creamy white texture to the actual perfume. I find it to be so crisp, but soft and elegant. It has a really smooth dry down. And the notes listed in this fragrance is rose, musk and magnolia. But I have read that also there is a bit of suede in here as well. And I think that could contribute to that sort of smooth creaminess of the perfume. This is beautiful, a highly elegant, sophisticated floral for your wedding day. And I think this fragrance again is a little bit more on the mature side. I think anywhere between 35 to 50 plus, such a stunning fragrance highly elegant. So that's my Magnolia Rosa. So the next fragrance I have is a vanilla based perfume. This is my Angelique Noir. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance, guys. I was so addicted to this perfume. I'm really surprised that that's the small dent that I have created in this bottle here. For your wedding day, you're looking for something that is inviting. Angelique Noir is just that. It's the vanilla with the pear in here. It has this sort of freshness about it in the vanilla, but then it has a green edge. So it's sweet and green and unique. This is a vanilla fragrance I would wear on a wedding day that's probably set more towards late summer to the autumn. It has a warm edge to it. But then, in saying that, you can wear this in the spring because it's quite green. There's some pear notes in here as well, which I absolutely love pear. And I find this to be a beautiful, warm, but unique scent. So that's my Angelique Noir. And also, um, I will add, this is a fragrance I think will suit every single age. Absolutely. Maybe, yeah, I think so. Even 18 to 25 year olds, I think this is perfect. Such a stunning, beautiful fragrance, Angelique Noir. So now for my second category, I'm getting a little bit warmer now and some of these fragrances are a little bit neutral. So they can be worn either spring, summer or autumn, winter. I wanted to start off with a favorite of mine, guys. This is my signature scent and I know you guys have seen me rave on and on about this. Can you guess the fragrance? I'm gonna just wait a second. Let me know in the comments down below if you can guess my fragrance. <laughs> It's Gentle Fluidity Gold by Maison Francis Cote Dijon. Oh my goodness me, this is your warm amber, a beautiful fragrance for a bride. This is for the bride who likes soft, gentle, warm vanilla with a little bit of spice. And it's not a deep, heavy spice, it's just a cocooning, pretty spice. You've got some beautiful coriander in here. Nutmeg is one of my favorite ingredients. This is smooth. This is most definitely, like I said, it's just inviting and feminine. This is vanilla, it's ambery. Guys, it's so warm and pretty. And I've worn so much of this perfume as it is my signature scent. This is normally my grab and go fragrance, but I do wear other fragrances. From my recommendation, I think you should decant a little bit of this and put it in your handbag. I would definitely recommend giving this to your maid of honor so that she can spray you throughout the day. When I actually wear this perfume myself, I cannot smell it. I mean, I can, but I want to smell more of it. Maybe it's just because I love it so much. But on others, oh my goodness, it fills the room. And I always wonder, is this how my fragrance is performing on me? So from my experience, just in case, I would take a small bottle with you and just spray as you go, because this is so enjoyable. It's such a pleasant scent. This is my favorite from MFK. Gentle Fluid Sea Gold. I was looking for a fragrance that would suit a bride who's getting married, let's say very late summer, to very early autumn. So we're talking August, September, almost October. Chanel number no. five, or Premier. This is the fragrance you want to have in your collection. This is the fragrance that should be on your short list when thinking of a fragrance for your wedding day. I like this perfume because it is so warming 
powdery but it smells like your traditional Chanel number no. five without it being so heavy, so woody, so strong and aromatic. This has more of a citrus burst and it's fresh, it's soft, it's powdery, it's entirely wearable. It will be memorable. This is a fragrance I'm recommending for my traditional, more classic brides. If you're having a very traditional wedding in the church, this is going to suit the whole church setting. It's got the musk in here, you've got some citrus notes, you have a line. It's so sophisticated and so classy. I just love this perfume, my old premier Chanel number no. five. And I do think this would suit from the age of 30 plus, most definitely. Very elegant. Try this one here. My favourite, actually. Well, actually, my second favourite. But it's so stunning. Chanel you know, number no. five or premier. As we are sticking to very soft, gentle fragrances, this is one of my number one perfumes that I find it to be so romantic. And I think the last four, because I have four perfumes left, the last four are my most romantic scents. This one, oh my goodness me, it's so stunning. I've only had this in my collection for about two years now. And I'm like, why did I only just buy it now? I discovered this beautiful perfume Chanel 1957 in Paris and that was yeah about two two and a half years ago my goodness I fell in love with this fragrance immediately this is iris it is musky powdery notes it is coconut let me smell this fragrance oh my goodness me it smells like an elegant lady on her wedding day it's soft, it's powdery, but it's not that strong musk. It's a beautiful musk that can be worn. That's not too heavy. I think it's quite subtle. You do have the iris in here as well. Um, but I just find this to be extremely elegant 1957, guys. Please try this. Add this one to your shop list. If you are, again, a very feminine lady and you are having a more traditional wedding and um, you're probably having a wedding that is between August and September, I think this would suit you very well. Please try this. And of course, you would want a Chanel fragrance for your wedding day. I mean, think about all the photo opportunities you will have with this beautiful bottle and all the matching accessories to go with it. So you've got the lotions and you've got the shower gels and things. But I normally pair Chanel Number no. 5, the original body kit with this fragrance because it does have that powdery dry down. So you could do that as well and sort of layer the fragrances and allow your fragrance to really perform throughout the day. I normally find when I do wear this perfume, I normally layer this with the shower gel and the body lotion from Chanel No. 5, apply it on my skin. And then I find that the perfume sticks to my clothes just from the actual perfume lotion itself. So then you don't need to spray your clothes so much. Then you add this fragrance on top then you're going to really allow the fragrance to perform so nicely and you're going to have a beautiful central that's going to be slightly unique as well because you've got the two fragrances mixed together. Anyway, enough about this gorgeous fragrance. I do love this. I tend to pick up this fragrance more in the autumn. That's why I'm recommending this if you're having a late summer, early autumn wedding. Stunning, beautiful fragrance, lots of florals in here and powder. And there's powder in every single layer, might I add. Top, middle and base. Stunning. So my next romantic scent is, guys, oh my gosh, the most complimented fragrance I've ever had in my collection. I've been wearing this fragrance for so many years and I always receive the most compliments with this. This is my Chanel Allure and this is the Eau de Parfum. I love the fruity edge to this perfume. There's some vanilla in the base. It's sweet. And I think it's the sweetest perfume by Chanel. This smells like romance and elegance. This smells like a princess. To me, it just has that ethereal edge to it. It's just really beautiful and stunning, guys. Oh my goodness me, I just love this one. Again, this is more of a warm toned perfume, which I think is going to be perfect for autumn. And even the winter as well, if you're having a winter wedding, imagine a wedding around December or around Christmas. This will be quite nice. It has a sweetness, a sweet fruity edge to it. 
and I do find this extremely beautiful and it does last on the skin quite well, highly, highly complimented. I think you will be remembered for wearing this. This is a fragrance, I do believe it's gone under the radar and I think if you were to wear this on your special day, no one's really going to know what you're wearing because it's not overworn, it's not hyped up and I think it should be. It's a beautiful, elegant perfume if you are highly feminine and elegant and you love warm sweet notes then definitely try Chanel's and next my next most romantic scent is this one here my Delina exclusive this is your rose and lychee and pear fragrance with a little bit of incense and oud in the base this is so sweet inviting and whimsical this is your modern day romantic fragrance I do recommend this for your wedding day perfume because this is going to stick on your skin and perform, guys. You want to be remembered. Um, you want your fragrance to almost fill your wedding venue, if that's possible. <laughs> then if it is, it's definitely going to be with this one here because this projects so far and for longevity, it's amazing. On the skin, this just dances so delicately on you and really plays a pretty role on your wedding day. It's going to take center stage, I think. So um, this is just really pretty, guys. I love the rose in here, the lychee pear. Oh my gosh, guys, it's so romantic. It's just a wedding day in pink. Your bridesmaids are wearing beautiful blush tones. Your wedding cake is beautiful and you have flowers sort of cascading down every single tier of your wedding cake in this pink shade and then you walk in wearing Delina exclusive my goodness me guys <laughs> the best wedding ever this is a stunning stunning scent I do recommend this one um, and this is for every single bride 18 25 35 45 55 this is for everyone. This is a stunning, stunning scent. Do not shy away from this perfume if you are over 50. Do not shy away from this if you're under 25. This is a fragrance for everyone. It's so stunning. Delina exclusive. Last on my list, I have a fragrance that is so beautiful in my opinion. I think this is one of the most opulent fragrances that I have or own. And not just the fragrance itself, but the actual brand is so Gorgeous guys, it is absolutely stunning. It is all about elegance, opulence, very fine perfumery, and they're from right here in London, so it's even more special. My Rosa Eau de Parfum is simply gorgeous guys. Stunning, stunning scent. And I think for your wedding day, and I did speak about budgets earlier, but you need to plan for your fragrance and this is a brand, Roja is a fragrance you need to have on that special day at some point. If it's not for your wedding day, then it has to be a part of the celebration, maybe for your engagement party or your bridal shower, then I do recommend a Roja perfume. And of course, look at this stunning bottle. How gorgeous is this bottle? So wonderful. When you see this bottle, you already know this is expensive, it is niche, it is high quality fragrances and that's what it's all about in this video perfumes that just smell beautiful and perform very well you want something memorable this is something special now this is a floral perfume and this is for the bride who is having a very opulent wedding in the center of the city or in the heart of london and you're hosting your wedding day in a beautiful, stunning venue. That's very modern. <laughs> it's this one here. Guys, I'm just getting lost in the fantasy right now. But um, I'm going to read the notes to you guys because this fragrance is so intense in terms of the list. And that's what I love about Roja perfumes. There are so many beautiful fragrance notes and it's just, oh, guys, unbelievable. So let's start. Top notes of bergamot. We have jasmine, orange blossom, tuberose. We have gardenia, cashmere was vanilla, benzoin, cinnamon, patchouli, sandalwood. Guys, this is stunning. It's your florals. 
And I think when it does come to a wedding day perfume, you do need some gardenia, you need some rose in there, perhaps some orange blossom. But this fragrance has a base of spices. I love the woody tones in the base and the cinnamon, the patchouli that's in here, really beautiful. Now, I have to be really honest with you guys. I want to share fragrances for your special day that are just wonderful. But I think you do want a fragrance that's going to really give you performance. Now, I'm being honest, this is stunning, absolutely stunning, but in terms of performance, it's just not there, guys. <laughs> it's just not there. You do have the new version, which I would recommend. Um, I'm going to insert a picture here so you can see it. Um, but this one here is going to last on your skin, I think, for no more than two hours. If you are happy with that and happy with respraying, then absolutely, because we do need this bottle for photo opportunities, right? Look how beautiful it is. But um, this is not going to perform as well. But in terms of the scent, it is stunning, stunning, stunning. So my recommendation is to get this in your hair. If you can spray this on your dress, which I am not recommending to spray anything on your dress, but try and just do like a light mist so it just falls delicately all over you. You have a beautiful cloud of fragrance on you. Um, but this is stunning in terms of its scent. My goodness me, guys, I just wish the performance was there, but I had to share this with you because it's stunning and I didn't want to leave it out. Do try this. And this bottle has been reformulated anyway, so which is even better. Like I said, the picture's up here. I'll link it all down below for you guys so you can find everything for your perfect day. And I'm going to close my video with this fragrance. This is also a fragrance that is a bit more warmer tone. So definitely, I think after September, October, you're getting married in the fall, try Rosie 51. Stunning, stunning fragrance. So my darlings, that brings me to the end of this video. I am closing the video with a special message for all you beautiful ladies out there. If you are getting married this year or sometime in the future, then I am conveying my congratulations to you. What a wonderful, wonderful time it must be for you. Enjoy the celebrations. Enjoy the shopping, oh my goodness. <laughs> Enjoy every single moment of your special day. My recommendation is to most definitely try out a few fragrances. Do not decide a week before the wedding buy these perfumes anything up to i think six months before your wedding day because our scent profile can change drastically for me my scent profile has stayed more or less the same but i'm being more adventurous i am trying new scents now but then sometimes a scent i loved eight months ago is something i'm not in love with right now think about your fragrance close to the wedding day anything between three to six months before the wedding wear the perfume endlessly Try it when you're going out for brunch. Try it going to work. Wear these perfumes, see how it performs on your skin because you want to get it right. And I know you will. You'll have a wonderful day. Congratulations again. Have a wonderful day, my darlings. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and join my family. I'll see you.